from stampingimperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to show you a very quick and pretty simple background for your stamping. I'm using watercolor paper. I've cut this at four by five and a quarter. I'm going to use my aqua pen and I've selected three colors from this year's in colors pistachio pudding strawberry slush and crisp cantaloupe this is going to be a very quick technique it makes a great background for all kinds of different stamps you need a paper towel or some kind of towel or something take your stamp pad and just squish it a little bit like that I'm just gently pushing in on the back so when I open this I have a little bit of ink on the inside cover. So I filled my aqua pen with water. If you've never used an aqua pen before, these just unscrew, take it to the faucet, fill it, leave a little bit of an air bubble there. You want to leave a little bit of air, you don't want to fill it completely. And then you just take this, you can squeeze it and um, just squeeze a little bit of the water out onto your paper towel and that makes the tip wet. So then you're just going to rub it in your ink so you have ink on here, and then you're just going to take it to your watercolor paper and go back and forth. And this does not, you don't want perfect. The less perfect, the better. Okay, so now I'm done with this color. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of water through here, rub it off on my paper towel until this, the tip of this comes fairly clean. These aqua painters come in sets of two, so you get two of them. Now I'm going to take the um, pistachio pudding. I'm going to do the same thing with the lid. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to crack the lid. I'll take a little bit of the green, do the same thing. Oops, got a lot of water there. If you get too much water, you can always soak the water up with a... You can just take your paper towel and soak it up like that. Just blot it. Won't hurt a thing. And as you go back and add more ink, you can see you can make this darker or lighter depending on how much ink you add. Okay, so now I'm going to use my third color, clean off my tip, squeeze a little water through onto the paper towel. You can also take these um, brushes off, you can unscrew it when you go to fill it, and just run it under the faucet and let the water run through the brush. That's also a good way to clean it when you're all done, to give it a good clean when you're all done. Now I'm using crisp cantaloupe. And I'm just going to finish off the bottom here. And you can, you know, make this as dark or as light as you want it. The point is, don't try to make it perfect. Okay, I'm going to clean this off. And there is a great background. Now I usually let this dry before I do any stamping. And generally if I stamp on top of this, I do one of two things. I will heat emboss whatever I'm using. So I'll use Versamark and embossing powder and then set it with my heat gun. You can also use your heat gun to dry this. You can also use Stazon. I like my Stazon. I'm going to be using the Regarding Delius stamp set this right here. I'm going to use the Dahlia and I'm going to just ink this up with my stays on ink. Love this image. Okay, so that's what the image from Regarding Dahlias looks like. I'm going to add a little sentiment. This is also from Regarding Dahlias. I stamped it in strawberry slush on very vanilla, created a little pennant, I sponged a little bit with the pistachio pudding around the edge, and I gave it a little silver brad. I have dimensionals on the back. Just a long strip of the side of the dimensionals. I'm just going to add this to the bottom like this. I'm keeping this card very simple, very quick. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back and I always, I usually on regular cards will, um, you can see what happens on the back if you don't wait till it dries. You don't get a very good image even with the stays on. Luckily there's two sides to every piece of paper. Um, I put extra dimensionals on because the paper does tend to warp. I have a, a piece of very vanilla, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and I'm just keeping it very tone on tone you could add um, one of the colors that you use for the ink you could add a matte if you wanted to 
but I just want to keep this very simple. Um, my point was to show you how easy it is to use the watercolor paper and the aqua painter to make a pretty background for um, your favorite stamp. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Check out my blog at stampingimperfection.com.